If you're still rocking an old AMD FX CPU like my FX8120 that's in here, then it might be time for an upgrade. If you've recently upgraded your graphics card as well, then this video could be pretty interesting for you. And even if you haven't or you don't have an FX CPU, I think you might be surprised by the results. The Ryzen CPU that I'm testing with here is actually the 2600X. Now you might be saying, why is that not a 2700 instead of the 26? And that's because this is really the kind of standard upgrade for what a lot of people are doing right now. And it's also the, the more sort of budget friendly and the gaming results are almost identical to the 2700X in most titles, so it doesn't really matter too much. Now, all four games that I benchmarked here, that being Apex Legends, Battlefield 5, PUBG, and Fortnite, were all running at 1080p, again, real world performance, and they're running on very high ultra um, epic settings type thing, although Battlefield 5 had DXR off, but in DX12 mode. But with all that said, let's take a look at the benchmark results. These are all the average FPS numbers. If you want to check out the minimums or the 1% lows for Battlefield 5, then you can check out the website, which should be linked below as well. So starting off with Battlefield 5, testing with an RTX 2060, we have a pretty impressive performance improvement here. We're going from 70 FPS with the 8120 all the way up to 95 FPS with the 2600X. That's a 36% performance improvement on average, which is awesome to see. On Apex Legends, again, still at 1080p, we're looking at 106 FPS with the 8120X. 20 and 119 for the 2600X, so only a 12% performance improvement, but still awesome to see and certainly noticeable on a high refresh rate display. With PUBG being our biggest improvement here, we're going from 85 FPS with the 8120 all the way up to 120 with the 2600X. That's a full 41% more performance if you switch your chips over. When it comes to Fortnite, we're looking at a fairly similar result here, 104 FPS with the 8120 and 139 for the 2600X, so that's a 34% uh, performance improvement, which is awesome to see, especially in this sort of more real world scenario. So as you're just seen the performance difference you get here is pretty incredible going from an fx 8120 to a ryzen 2600x especially uh, even including the outlier result of uh, apex legends which is obviously a, a source game um you know for only 12 percent is still pretty impressive looking at the rest of the games you're looking at between 34 and 41 percent performance improvements which is definitely noticeable especially on something like a 140 hertz monitor and so this is a very worthwhile upgrade and I would also mention that the general usability of the system was just much better with the Ryzen CPU uh, and also I'd mention uh, just from my general experience with these chips I actually ran the eight, eight, this very 8120 for about three years and I've been using Ryzen chips for the last about two years so my general experience with them has been that the Ryzen chips are much more stable, you've got way more features, proper USB 3 support, M.2 and a load of other stuff as well. So if you're considering upgrading, this is a very worthwhile upgrade and of course even if you're not, I hope you enjoyed the uh, kind of impressive results too. Now of course the third generation Ryzen chips are in theory just around the corner, so if you're interested in seeing me benchmark the FX 8120 against those new chips as well, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'd also love to hear your thoughts on the test as well in the comments down below. Is there something you'd like to see me test again or test in a different way or generally just comment on the results? I'd love to hear your thoughts down there too. Now if this video has convinced you to switch up your old CPU for a new Ryzen one, then feel free to take a look at the link in the description down below. That will take you to your local Amazon store where you can see pricing when and where you watch this. Of course, if you want to see more videos like this one, then feel free to hit that subscribe button with a bell notification icon. And if you want to support the channel and keep these videos coming on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday basis, then take a look at the links in the description down below. I mentioned that there's Amazon uh, links down there. There's also Overclockers UK affiliate links, neither of which cost you any money to use. They just massively help me out when you do use them. Or you can check out hoodies and t-shirts like this one or a load of other designs. There's also a Patreon if you want to support me directly and get cool rewards for doing so. Or there's also private instant access with a great and cheap VPN or Humble Bundle for cheap games that support charities too. There's also a load of other videos over there if you want to check them out, and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.